This is about space. America's return to space. For thousands of years, man has gazed into the heavens. We've used the stars to guide us and learn the stories of Greek gods of Mount Olympus. There was Apollo, a god in Greek mythology, and one of the twelve Olympians, the son of Zeus. And so it seemed, Apollo would be a fitting name for America's moon missions. But little has been told about his twin sister, Artemis, goddess of the moon and regarded as a helper of midwives as a goddess of birth. And again, NASA has given birth to Artemis to return to the moon and stay and to prepare for a mission to Mars. Welcome and thanks for joining me today. That was about space contributor Mark Chatham introducing you to Artemis. NASA has set a very bold and ambitious goal in human space exploration with the Artemis program. To return American astronauts to the moon within the next five years. Vice President Mike Pence. The plan is to return humans to the moon with the first woman and the next man on the lunar surface in 2024. This is a critical capability for not just a sustainable lunar return, but also an eventual journey to Mars. NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstein. Ahead of the human return, NASA will send a suite of scientific instruments and technology demonstrations to the lunar service through commercial moon deliverers, which will pave the way for the arrival of astronauts. The agency will fly two missions around the moon to test its deep space exploration systems. With more is Amanda Deisler. So you're probably wondering when Artemis will take flight. The unmanned test mission, known as Artemis 1, is expected to launch before 2021 and should last about three weeks. The first manned mission, Artemis 2, will launch in 2022, orbiting our lunar neighbor before returning to Earth. But it's in 2024 that NASA will finally revisit the lunar surface in over 50 years. In fact, Artemis 3 will deliver pioneering astronauts to the moon's south pole for the very first time. But the Artemis program isn't just important for lunar exploration. Preparing astronauts for life on the Gateway will allow for more studies on how the human body responds to life in deep space and provide more opportunities for exploration. Long term, the Artemis program hopes to create a lunar colony by 2028, an essential pit stop for getting a manned mission to Mars. And what have astronauts had to say? If you're going to accomplish something, you're going to have to take risk. We were close to not being able to come home. And then bingo, the moon was in your window. John Young told me, don't touch this handle, I'm the driver. <laughs> yeah. I just look in awe at this incredibly beautiful planet. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. In the weeks ahead, we'll review NASA's most powerful new rocket and explore the Orion spacecraft. So continue to listen as America plans to land the first woman and next man on the moon. For launch details and more, see us on Facebook. And I'd like to hear from you about America's return to space. Email me at david at aboutspace.today. And be sure to share our programs with your family and friends. I'm David Denault, and this has been About Space Today.